The very latest now from Lieutenant Colonel Tony Schaefer. He's the former Army Intelligence Officer. Colonel, we're also closely monitoring Angela Merkel, the uh, head of Germany who's addressing uh, reporters in her nation in a right. speech now in Berlin. But again, uh, Europe on heightened alert, uh, to put it mildly. All the countries now uh, at or close to their highest alert. But isn't this akin to sort of like uh, closing the barn door after all the animals have left? I mean, uh, what now? Oh, absolutely, Neil. I mean, look, everybody knew something was about to happen. Uh, I'm not sure if you've noticed around New York City, but around Washington, we've seen here a physical presence higher, than, way higher than normal. The, the alert went out several days ago very quietly. With that said, Europe has known, and frankly, the arrest of the, uh, the French bombing suspect was the trigger. I actually, we actually talked about this, about the fact that when he was captured, there would probably be more ISIS action, and sure enough, that's what happened. But my main concern here, Neil, is not Europe. European, they have to, they have to fix this. They know that now. I'm more worried about what's going on here. John Brennan admitted that right before the last French attack, he didn't share critical information with the, 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 the French. Bad on us. More importantly, uh, domestically, TSA has gone through and done this, what I would say, work slowdown. All the TSA folks at all the airports are now making life hell for the American public because they got caught not capturing things going through. So now you have people, Neil, in these long queues in L.A., in Chicago, in, 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 in Detroit, in, in all these cities you mentioned, uh, LaGuardia. The, the TSA now, Neil, is, is, is actually encouraging, creating conditions for the terrorists to, to come here and do the very same attack. Well, how are why they go doing for that? An airliner? Now, the reason why I mentioned it, Colonel, is because the president is going to announce, I don't know what, but something to be effect later today, tightened air, airport security uh, features. I don't know what that will be, but right. um, what would they have to do to, to make things safer for you and your eyes to better guard against the kind of stuff? that happened today, what would they have to do? First off, get serious about the war on ISIS. I mean, Neil, the idea is keep them there. Ten years ago, we did not have this level of threat domestically. Let's remember that. So we, what we're doing is failing to get them, uh, get, playing the long game, getting them over there. The refugee stream is something we have to pay attention to. Mark my words, Neil, we're going to find out that some of the folks who were involved in the attack uh, yesterday and last night in Europe were, came through the refugee stream. We've got to take it seriously. Secondly, we've got to get our military more aggressive. General Dunford has done a good job of getting the Pentagon going going after these leadership and, and other things. Third, we've got to actually look at our, our threat profile here. What, what do we look like to the enemy? Where are the most likely avenues of approach? It's called red teaming. Uh, I've done it, as several other folks you had on your show have done this before. We need to take seriously how ISIS sees our vulnerabilities and then go about patching those. This is something we have not done to the level necessary to protect the American people, and now is the time to get serious about all of this. We just have not done it yet. You know, Colonel, what uh, intrigued me early this morning, at least in the initial reports, that this might not have been in response to the, the, the capture of, of Salah Abdel Salam, the, of the Paris orchestrator who was uh, taken in a shootout uh, earlier last week, that this might have been a planned event and it might have been his planning for that event. So much we don't know, but, but that would raise an even scarier issue that this wasn't in response to, to the crackdown in Brussels, but a separate planned attack. Well, you know, I, I think this was his planning, but that's the issue. It, basically, I think they set it up for the moment he got had, that's when the, the bowl started rolling. There's no, there's no doubt that this was very carefully orchestrated. This was planned for months, if not uh, uh, more than six months. What I'm saying is that his capture was the trigger event. That is to say that this, when he got nabbed, is, it was a signal for everybody else to start rolling. It took about 48 hours to get everybody rolling. So this was deliberate. This was clearly a separate attack. With that said, Neil, the two can be related. This, these are not mutually exclusive. So I would argue that ISIS knew this was coming. They knew somebody was going to grab them eventually, and that was going to be the trigger event for them to set off the entire uh, thing to happen at once. But I do, I do believe, like you, this had to be a very caref carefully orchestrated event. And it tells me also that the Europeans are still not taking this seriously enough. And frankly, I don't think CIA and our intelligence community are doing as best they can to get ahead of this as much as they should to protect us. Yeah, what worries me is we're getting almost numb to these sort of developments. But we wouldn't Correct. it happen here. Colonel, thank you, my friend. Always appreciate it. Hey, thank you. It. Thank you.